Welcome to P&T Smart Minds. This is the part two of mastering the 95% winning strategy. Some vital topics has to be covered in mastering the 95% winning strategy. These are the topics. One, the order block, OB. Two, break of structure, BOS. Three, imbalance. Four, liquidity. Five, change of character. Six, top-down analysis. Let's start with the definition of order block. What is an order block? We have two scenarios to consider. One, bearish order block. Two, bullish order block. Now, in the bearish scenario, this is the last bearish candle before a sharp and substantial movement to the upside. And in the bullish scenario, this is the last bullish candle before a sharp and substantial movement to the downside. Why do we consider a valid order block? What makes an order block valid? 1. They are considered manipulation areas formed before a significant market area. 2. Most people view these zones as places where large numbers of people buying or selling are found or placing orders. Why do we consider a valid order block? What makes an order block valid? 1. They are considered manipulation areas formed before a significant market change. 2. Most people view these zones as places where large orders made by people buying or selling are found. Trading without knowing a valid order block is very dangerous in your trading. You can lose money. In this episode, you will learn how to use order blocks, liquidity, and break of structure. If this sounds nice to you, subscribe to get more content like this. What makes an order block valid? And how can we use them to our advantage? One way we can identify a valid order block is when it takes out liquidity. That is the candle before the last candle. Two, price must leave a gap. Or if there is no gap, the order block is not valid. The candle wicks must not overlap. Looking at the example we gave, the first and the third candles wicks cannot overlap each other. This is also called an imbalance. Three, the third rule, is that the order block must not have been used before. Note that it is a one-time use. If the order block has been used, it is not a valid order block. Let's see an example. Four, a valid order block must lead to a break of structure or a change of character. Let's see an example. It is important to know when a change of character is taking place. Knowing this would help you know when a price moves from a bearish to a bullish trade or when a price moves from a bullish to a bearish trade. Note that an order block creates an imbalance or inefficiency, a break of structure or a change of character in the current market. Now let's talk about imbalance. What is imbalance? It is an area of unequal market moves where there are only buyers or sellers that exist in the market. It is an unhealthy price action. Let's check some examples. In the bearish imbalance, notice that the bearish candles are stronger in the market. And in the bullish imbalance, notice that the bullish candles are stronger in the market. Break of structure. When a price breaks a structure low or high, it is called a break of structure. Now a break of structure formed in the direction of structure formed in the direction of the trend and creates continuation patterns so that you can join the trend. In the bearish scenario, when a price breaks a low, a new break of structure is formed. And the bullish scenario, when a price breaks a high, a new break of structure is formed. Now, let's talk about the change of character. In the bearish example, change of character occurs when the price breaks the previous high. In the bullish example, it occurs when the price breaks the previous low. Inefficiency. Inefficiency indicates the lack of buyers or sellers in the market, leaving in equilibrium that eventually needs to be filled. Liquidity. Liquidity means money or a large counter order that must be fulfilled to spur the movement of the market institution. Liquidity is the fuel of the market. It is mostly found in the resistance and support of the market. Now let's go to the main topic, top-down analysis. Top-down analysis is a technique that combines the analysis of multiple time frames and market factors to gain a comprehensive understanding of the market condition. 
Like for the day traders, you don't have to start analysis from the monthly time frame. Here we are going to show you where you can start. Why do we need a multi time frame for analyzing the structure? These are the reasons. One, to overcome directional confusion. With the higher time frame, you can know the bias. You cannot see all these from a lower time frame. When you analyze the bigger picture, you have a chance of knowing the direction of price. Secondly, it helps to increase your accuracy. A small change in the higher time frame is a big change in the small time frame. So before placing any trade, you need to check how much room you have before taping into a higher time frame supply and demand area. Now with this information, you can know where to place your stop loss and take profit. To increase your accuracy, note that if you make a mistake of not checking the higher time frame, you give room for mistakes in your trade. Thirdly, it optimizes trade entries. If you have enjoyed the content so far, please subscribe to our channel and comment below if you have any questions. Now this is our special technique for our top-down analysis. Now let me show you our top-down analysis on trading from a higher time frame and scaling down to the lower time details. This will be done step by step. We will consider three types of time frames in our analysis, starting from a higher time frame. We would look at the weekly and daily, which we would use to place the key levels for the market structure. Second, we use four hours and two hours for analysis, including the market direction, supply and demand area, liquidity zones, and trading opportunities. Third, we are going to use the 15 minutes and five minutes for the confirmation and entry time frame. This area would help you with lower details. Now let's apply this concept to a real chart to help you understand this better. Let's use the euro dollar on the chart to do this. We would mark the key levels. This would help us know where we are when we go to a lower time frame, so we don't make the mistake of trading in the wrong direction on the chart. We need to keep three things in mind when drawing the lines for levels. First, draw the levels where you would get the greatest touches. Second, drawing from the body of the candle has the highest priority. Third, treat the levels as areas, not solid lines. This will help us study the trade within an area. The next thing to consider is using the following criteria. Now let's consider five important factors to use when drawing key levels of market structure. Please note that each one of these factors makes a level very strong. One of the factors to consider is the turning point. Turning point. These are areas that have reversed the market previously. Traders view these areas as overbought or oversold areas. There is a higher chance for prices to react in these areas when it reaches them again. Secondly, multiple rejection area. These areas show that traders took action at the same time in these areas. These areas make these levels more powerful and should be noted when trading, but doesn't mean that the area would hold price. So it is advisable to study the area carefully. Thirdly, acted as both support and resistance. If a level of structure has acted as a support and resistance before, then it increases the chances of prices rejecting this level again. Number four, the move from a specific area was drastic. That is, it was not a tiny reaction, but a strong movement down. The deeper it returns from a level, the better it makes that level. Number five, recently respected or created. These recent levels are always more respected since they are current and new. It could be resistance, support, or order blocks. At the daily time frame, we place key levels for support and resistance areas. On the four hour time frame, you will see the daily support and resistance level. This information will help you know the direction of flow. All these have to be cross checked. Please note that this is the most important trading. Trading does not require rushing, and this time frame helps to check the direction of the trade, that is, market direction. Check supply and demand areas again check liquidity zones, and also check where you can get trading opportunities. 
On the one hour time frame, you will see the daily support and resistance level. Notice that there is a change of direction on the chart. There is a bearish price action taking place. Note that each of these levels can act as a support or resistance. We use these levels to confirm market directions. Secondly, we use it as a higher time frame target. On the 15 minute time frame, during this time frame, you only look for the right entry. For a bullish trend, you check when a bearish trend is exhausting, then you enter the trade, and on a bearish trend, you check when a bullish trend is exhausting, then you can enter. Trading is easy, it just requires patience and a very good understanding of the chart. All these are important in trading. Please subscribe to get very good content on forest trading and other very good content.